All right, everyone, let's get settled. So have you ever thought about what hormones do in our bodies? So let's first understand where hormones come from. Our bodies have special factories called endocrine glands. These glands produce and secrete hormones directly into the bloodstream and are important for making sure our bodies are working properly. The endocrine system is made up of several glands. The major glands are the hypothalamus, pituitary gland, thyroid gland, parathyroid glands, adrenal glands, pancreas, ovaries in females, and testes in males. <laughs> It's almost like a perfectly orchestrated symphony where every note plays a crucial part in the masterpiece of health. Imagine your body is like a busy intersection with lots of cars and pedestrians. Now, picture the endocrine glands as special traffic lights. These traffic lights send out different signals to control the flow of traffic. For instance, one signal might tell the cars to stop while another signal tells them to go. They all do important jobs, like controlling blood oh. sugar, helping us digest food, keeping our body temperature right, and giving us energy. They also help with things like fighting off sickness, handling stress, and making sure our heart beats properly. Plus, they help us grow and develop, and they contribute to female and male sex characteristics that help us to continue to populate the world. Now you can see how hormones affect so many functions in our body that are necessary. The question is, what happens to our hormones as we age? That's a great question. As we get older, our bodies start to make fewer hormones. This can affect how bodies function. Sometimes it can lead to health risks or problems. It's like having fewer workers in a big team where things might not run as smoothly as before. So, it is important to take care of our bodies, especially as we get older. You may be asking, when will this all happen? For both males and females, their bodies naturally go through changes as they get older. One of these changes is a decrease in our sex hormones. And what are those hormones called? Testosterone, estrogen, and progesterone. In males, Testosterone is a primary sex hormone, while estrogen is present in smaller quantities. In females, estrogen is a primary sex hormone and also produces testosterone, but in smaller amounts. Changes in the levels of these hormones can affect both sexes in various ways. In females, a drop in estrogen can cause symptoms like hot flashes, night sweats, vaginal dryness, and an increased risk for bone thinning and sleep disturbances. For both men and women, a reduction of testosterone has reported symptoms like weight gain, reduced muscle mass, loss of sexual desire, fatigue, hair thinning, decreased energy, and can contribute to feelings of irritability, depression, and anxiety. For males, low amounts can be linked to erectile dysfunction. Progesterone is a hormone that is most known for its role in women's bodies, but it is also found in small amounts in men. Even though men don't need as much progesterone as women, it still helps with some important jobs in their bodies, like the production of other hormones and keeping their reproductive systems healthy. Now, on the other side, decreased levels of testosterone and estrogen in both males and females have been linked with several health conditions like heart disease, decreased bone density, and some studies are even suggesting that hormonal changes may even play a significant role in cognitive decline, like Alzheimer's disease. There you have it. Hormone balance is indeed crucial for overall health and well-being. 